Hi everyone, I'm Cordia and in this tutorial I show you how to use Medibank Paint for creating your artworks on Android and I'll explain all the tools so at the end of this video you will have a better understanding of digital painting tools especially if this is your first time trying digital art. So let's start. Medibank is a free painting app that provides many features you need for drawing. I started my digital art journey with its Android version, also I use its PC version, and I think it's really easy to use rather than other programs that look so complicated. Okay, so after installing, when you open the app, you see a page like this, you might see some instructions if you use the app for the first time. I start with Medibank community where you can share your works with other users. This is my gallery where I can find my saved works. For opening the in progress drawing, open this one. And for starting an illustration, you must first create a canvas. Canvas is the area on the screen where you can actually paint on it. We can choose a size based on pixel or centimeter or pick a standard size. Make a transparent or color. This is DPI, that's per inch. It is considered when you want to print your painting and it only affects the printing quality, not the resolution of the original file. Now that we created our canvas, we can start drawing. Let's start with the toolbar that includes the tools you need for painting. When you pick a tool, you can adjust it in sub toolbar that shows the tool settings. For example, when I pick brush tool, I see the correction and the rulers. Correction or stabilization reduces the shakiness of the lines and make them more smooth. This shows the current tool that you are using and by tapping on it, you can hide or display toolbar so you can have a better view. This is the color panel. Here you choose your brush and its color. You can download more brushes if you want from here. The color wheel and how you can change the hue, saturation and value of the color. Foreground and background color. This is translucent color. It disappears the traced color. It just works like the eraser and it's amazing for creating different effects. So if you think that in this app you don't access too many erasers, just use translucent color. The RGB setting, the palettes where you can make and add your own palettes or delete them, change the opacity and size of your brush with these ones, and also you can access to HSV bar right here, change the hue, saturation and value of the color, opacity and size of brushes by dragging up or down, and even switch to palette. All right, let's continue the toolbar. The eraser tool, that its job is obvious. As I said, if you think the erasers are not enough, just use the translucent color. Shape tool allows you to create straight, bent, and curved lines, squares, oval, or polygons. The hand tool that allows you move the whole canvas, but for moving just one layer, use the movement tool. The filling tool works like the shape tool, but it fills the shape with picked color already, for filling the selected area, use the bucket tool. Sometimes you see some white pixels after using bucket tool. For solving this problem, expand the pixels. And if the shape you have chosen have some gaps, increase the close gaps level. Next tool is gradient tool. I love using it for light effects or smooth backgrounds. You can create different kind of gradient shapes with it. And here the foreground and background color could be so useful. So in the color panel, I can choose them and by tapping, I can switch them and decide which one appears first. Also, when you are using edge pen, you can choose as edge color with foreground and background color. Okay, these are my selection tools. They let me select a certain portion of my painting and apply the chains only on that area which is called the selected range. For example, I just want to draw in this part so as you can see, I only can paint or erase on this particular shape. Here you choose the shape of the selection and if you want to do it yourself, use the lasso tool. That is a very useful tool in digital painting and it helps you create any selection shape you want. 
off or normal means that you can select a portion just at once. But if you want to add selection, turn on the add and if you want to remove some selected parts, use remove. Round corners help you create selected shapes with rounder corners. If you want to select automatically, use the automatic selection. It selects line of area as well as the colored part. Its adjustments work like the bucket tool. The difference is this one selects, but the bucket tool fills the portions. If you need to generate more complicated selection that you can capture by two previous selectors, use Select Pen tool. The red parts are my selected range and they can be fixed or erased by the next tool, Selection Eraser tool. For creating comics or manga, first you need to create panels and this one helps you do that. If you need to edit the panels that you have created, you can use Operation tool. And last tool is the text tool for times you need to add a text to your work. After the toolbar, we have the shortcut bar. It helps us to access the tools that we use frequently faster. For example, I really use the flip tool and I don't want to look for it every time, so I just add it here. When you make a mistake, use undo end. For picking the color on your painting directly, use the eyedropper or color picker. Now you can use these tools for creating your own piece. In the next part, we will talk about how to create and adjust layers and work with different menus. I really recommend to watch it because it contains a lot of information. And if you have any question, I'll be so happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.